Morning in Hi, look at that. We are here at the ferry. We are heading to that island just over there and then off to another island because we're going to a private island resort. <laughs> Pretty fancy, I know it sounds, but guess what? It's a self-sustaining island. They don't get electricity from the mainland. So uh, I don't know what else to say about it because I don't know anything about the island just yet. We're looking very forward to it. We're gonna head over there and see what we find. So that ferry was very quick. Maybe 10 minutes it takes to go from one island to the other and it's only 30 pesos yeah it's such a steal right that's crazy so crazy uh from here you have to make your way to isidro uh wharf where uh you can arrange for a boat to pick you up and take you to the island um the it's it's about i'm told about an hour i guess we'll find out to get to that wharf and uh after that it's 600 pesos to get from uh, the mainland here, or the, the main part of Garamus Island, over to uh, the resort, or you can find another. Um, you can find another way if you want. All right, we got to pay the tourism fee. All right, all right. So uh, I forgot about that last time. Uh, we were like, why are we the only people being singled out? Uh, yeah. So in there, uh, they have a tourism office. You just quickly fill in a form. There's no charge or anything, I think so. It's just a survey, almost. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, and sorry. Make sure and and uh, so anyway, we're uh, we're in. It ah. doesn't really matter, and we're gonna head over to the island. And then the island. We arrived. It's not that bad. What was it? Thirty minutes, maybe. Yeah, like not even. Yeah. And there's no traffic. There's no traffic. No. So it's so easy. I had no idea that uh, Garamus is its own province as well. So we yeah. learned something today. We're in the province of Garamus. Okay? Yeah, the province of Garamus. All right, so we're here at the wharf right now. It's very windy, so we're just behind a building right now. Um, uh, but yeah, we're waiting for the boat to arrive and heading to the island. Oh, she found a puppy. No, he wants you. He's actually quite pretty. Hi, hey, BB. What about me? Hey, BB. Come here. Woo. You can actually even just day trip here. Bring your own food. There's no corking fees. There is a 100 peso per person if you're not staying the night, which is still very, very reasonable. You have free access to an island. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, has, they have a swimming pool and everything there. So that's that's why the price is like that. Really cool. I'm pumped. I'm so excited to get onto this island. Whoa, what's this? All right, so all this fish here come from the fish uh, farm right over here. And uh, it's very windy, I'll turn it in a second. Here we go. There we go. Pretty wavy out there, but uh, and windy. we're not going very far, so that's okay. I'm suited up for the sun. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this is just for Bianca. Okay. Yeah, this is just my. <laughs> that's Bianca's that, beer. That's that's just that's my morning. Actually. That's her her red horse yeah. for the morning. They're they're getting another one for my afternoon. Wow. Yeah. She's such a I'm princess. I'm busy. I'm very busy. <laughs> okay, driving here. So not this one. It's the one after that. That's where we're going. Thanks. 
sir. All right, right away. Beautiful sandy beaches. Oh, look at this white sand. Yeah, beautiful yeah. white sand. Oh, oh, and it's like a little cove over here. There's like no, it's hot. There's no wind. It's quiet too. Yeah, it it's got so real walky. quiet. But meanwhile, on the other side of this little inlet here, there you go. Big waves. Big waves. Big waves. All right. Look at that thing. Look, look. Oh, she's running. Whoa. A coral or something, right? That's a good, that's a good one. It's a good sized one. Oh, I'm out of breath already from that little <laughs> From She ran from there, guys. She ran from there. She's out of breath. Gonna do that again? Hello! I, 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 we just witnessed her greeting somebody else. Totally flamboyant. And uh, yeah, then all of a sudden I asked and she's like, I'm shy. Oh, darling. Look who this is, Epi. This place is so beautiful. Oh my gosh! Hi! Oh, that's a friendly dog. So this is the reception building and uh, it looks like they got some stuff for a charging area and also where you can get snacks and stuff like that. And as you can see here, you get, when you rent a place here, you get a, either a small house or they even have a big, oh, oh, hello. All right. Oh, it smells good too, wow. Oh, the real. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Look at that. Are we in Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes, okay. Very fancy. Thank why, you. Why is there a German flag? How do I look? We're in Hawaii. Well, because it was That's a German flag, Filipino right? family that, that uh, <laughs> o operated, opened this island. And uh, yeah, this place is so beautiful. There is so much to see here, and I see a pool. See the German feel. Oh yeah. I can definitely see. Oh wow, a stone house over here. Okay, these actually smell so good. Like you can actually smell that. Oops, mine's already backwards. Cause look at it. Smell it. Smell it. Smell my neck. Mmm. I'm a bee. Look at it. Wow. You I never got look so. A teddy bear. <laughs> you look so confused. Hello. Do you need a new home? This is Epi's dog. Okay, don't tell Epi we're gonna steal you, okay? So this guy here, <laughs> he was a bartender over on Barakai. Are you still or no? Oh, no. No. Uh, I said that to Sorry? I'm working in Iluilo. Oh, he's in Iluilo now. There we go. So he's planning to return to Barakai to be a bartender again, but Hey, look at this, look at this. Maybe you should book this guy for your weekend uh, to come make you some drinks all weekend when you're staying here. You got a Facebook page? Uh, yeah. What's your Facebook? Uh, Micah, uh, I'll, I'll just add you later. Okay, yeah, that sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> right now he's making mojitos. That's a whole other level of fancy, eh? When you come to the island, you're like, I'm gonna bring my own bartender. That's a flex. 
I even have a karaoke machine in here that I know that surprises everyone back at home. Um, this is like, I don't know, a communal house? I guess a communal house. There is beds up top and then there are beds down below. Um, there is all different kinds of tables and everything here. Yeah, there's a whole kitchen over here and you can buy food. It's not just bring your own. You can purchase food. You're gonna have crab. You can have all kinds of food uh, made for you. And, uh, but yes, you can come and bring your own food and then cook it as well. It smells absolutely great in here. Holy smokes. <laughs> Okay, our room is ready. We're going to check it out right now. And so, like I said, there's several different, oh, this way, okay. Several different places you can get of different sizes here, um, depending on how private you want it um, and how big of a group you have. So, we finally got our place right on the beach. You've got your bed, you got everything you need, but look at this. This is extraordinary. A balcony with a table and chair. Another chair over here. And kaboom. Straight out. Beautiful. Got an island over there. You got Negros is a little further. And of course, Gumeris Island right over there. And our own dock. And your own dock? Are you trying to take the dock? Practice Flego. I'll clean as you go. Flego. <laughs> Clean and as you go. It's actually very nice. Yeah, this is very nice. Just like lower your expectations. This is really nice. A cabin on the beach and it's full of coffee. Yeah, they were thinking that uh, we would be disappointed in any way. And we're like, oh no. We knew that you guys were like a natural type of resort. Uh, you did explain it to us. They told us ahead of time. So we were like, no, this is what we expected. Darn, I can fall into the water from here? Oh, uh, darn, that uh, sucks. Darn. Yeah, hard. really beautiful. We're very happy. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a beautiful weekend. Ready to enjoy ourselves. Whoa, are you going to be dancing in the shower later? In your bikini? Yeah, we gotta close the door. Look at this. Whoa! So, he's not delivery. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love so much. Whoa! Mojitos. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's amazing. That's so nice of you. Yeah, so make sure you have to get it. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Oh, Cheers. so refreshing. Perfect way to start. Amazing. Well, look at this. So we opted to have a meal as we did not bring any food. And so far we have a soup here. Do you know what kind of soup? Yeah, no, I'm not what sure. What kind of soup is this? So we here we have some soup to start yeah. and uh, more food is being cooked right now. like a plain soup oh she wasn't kidding yeah, yeah. no taste at all no there, there's taste well there's like the green onion vegetable soup maybe a, like vegetable, a vegetable soup okay there we go so he can actually tell us what kind of soup it is i don't know what's wrong with your taste buds but this is mushroom soup i did say vegetable so i think it counts mushrooms are are they a vegetable? I think they're a fungus, but they fall under vegetable. Yeah, I don't think like people like to say, hey, I'm eating fungus today. I'm eating today. fungus. A fungus yeah. soup, fungi soup. Mm -hmm. It's not bad though, right? This is delicious, actually. Yeah. And look at the background. Paid after. Oh. Here's the spinach. We have rice, of course. Yeah. Gotta have wow, your look rice. At the crab. Look nice. at this. You have, I'm pretty sure, is that lechon? Uh, pork. Yeah. Pork? Okay, yeah. yeah. So we got pork Same, with some yeah. cucumber and tomatoes. We have yeah. shrimp that's here. Chicken that's curry. done, but it's there. Chicken curry. <laughs> wow. Fish fillet. Fish fillet. Crab meat. Wow, crab and meat. And crab yeah. meat. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a feast. Thank you Thank so you much. So Salamat. That's amazing. Thank wow. you. Oh. 
Did you know you were having a feast today? No, but I'm excited. I'm here for it. I'm definitely here for it. Look at this. You make me look like I'm double fisted. Right? Way to go, <laughs> drinker. Sure. There's a lot yeah, of food here. It. Thank you. Okay, so we have, of course, an amazing spread going on. I'm going to grab some rice first because I'm not a pleb. Okay. We're go look at the spoons. It's even made of coconut. All right. All right. Gotta just dig right in. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit for now. We have a lot of food. Uh, secondly, secondly, I'm gonna go for the crab. Of course, right here. Look at this bad boy. It's already done for you, you know? Look at that presentation. I will not say no to that. Okay, next, next, I'm going to get away, get away. Yeah, you can take the bowl too. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, you can take that. What? Look at the mangoes. The Morris mango. Wow, thank you. Look how fresh that looks. All right. We're going to save the mangoes for later, but I'm going for Oops, I spilled some rice into the into the meat pile. Some shrimp, okay? It's just you and me, so I can be a little bit messy. Yep, nobody's watching, just us. Nobody, nobody's watching. Nobody's watching. Okay, I'll save the pork for you. You can go first with that. And I'm gonna go for a fish fillet, okay? It's all seafood. This is the seafood plate. plate. That's how I'm starting off with. What about you? What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, I'm gonna go for the crab first. I'm gonna try that one out. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's like stuffed crab. Look at this, look at this. Amazing. Okay, grab some rice. Ooh! There's a lot of flavor in that. Holy. Oh yeah, that's like a full on, like stuffed crab, mix of crab. You can see there's like carrots and other veggies in it, but that is amazing. Filet. And you know it's fresh, because we saw all those fishes. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, that's some good fish. Some uh, curry chicken here. Okay, okay. Oh, it's already messy. Goodness, you're so Oh. Good. You know, the thing about me is I'm not big on too much spice. I don't mind a little bit, but I get the hiccups if I have too much spice. <laughs> it's the right amount of spice Ooh. and curry. So, and I love how they garnished it with the tomatoes and the onions, right. and not just basically just sauced it and said, "Here you go." So. Giving me a lot of footage now. <laughs> the water is nice. But Isn't you cannot it? tell. It is. How would he know? No, I mean, <laughs> like, you were just enjoying every minute of it. I was, I was. And uh, I can't believe, like you said, it's just so quiet here. Yeah, exactly. It's and like the water is beach. nice. It's a beautiful day out which makes going to the beach an even more like amazing experience. And we haven't been to the beach in a while. So this yeah. is like heaven. Exactly. And we haven't shown like the beaches of uh, like Iloilo, which I know it's not Iloilo, but it is a 20 minute boat ride from Iloilo city. So exactly. it should count. So many fishing boats go by. And that one fish farm that we saw on the other side produced 2000 kilos of fish every harvest unbelievable but it comes with a high risk you, otherwise everybody would be doing it it takes a good capital investment in order to construct it 
And then every time a typhoon comes, it's like a body or investment. So uh, yeah, that is uh, the big risk, but comes with big reward. Doing? Just giving a hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving him a hand. Okay, we're gonna go for a little hike and check out the island. This is amazing. I wasn't expecting a stone staircase. Oh, no. this is going so up lucky. into the jungle. Into the jungle. We're going on an adventure. Yeah. So good. Uh, to give you an idea of history of this, uh, their father um, purchased this land, the whole island. Uh, for a hundred thousand pesos. How crazy is that? A hundred thousand pesos. Guys. Decades not, ago, not okay. US pesos. Yeah, which back then the the peso was almost equal to a dollar though. So, so kind of. It, it kind of is. Uh, anyway, uh, and so what happened is at the beginning, it wasn't really a tourist type thing, um, but uh, he would rent out uh, houses and stuff like that here on the island to other fellow Germans. He had married a Filipino wife. And uh, yeah, and then after a while, you know, they, they didn't live here anymore. They fell into disrepair and now they're called ruins. So there's actual ruins here on the island. Look at these. Former German homes. Look, there's like vines growing up these trees, like those ferns. Oh yeah. Look how interesting. The symbiotic, symbiotic relationship between plants and trees. You can see it in front. It's so cool. You see, they grow up the tree, and they can both live in harmony. So, did you know? Okay, wait. This one in The Last of Us. Okay, if you guys have watched the show or the video game, the fungus. When you see, they turn into zombies, right? But they're not mindless zombies. They're technically they they're technically still conscious, but the fungus is controlling their every movement. So if you notice, some of the zombies are actually like crying and trying to throw up whoever they're eating because they're still human. They're just con being controlled by the fungus. So yeah, that sucks even more if you're fighting them off. Fun fact. So yeah, and then um, after a long period of time, they, they turned it into a resort and uh you know as things boomed out here and then well here you go this is what's left so now you can come out here and you can go to tour of the ruins and then you can go all the way around the island and they have a nice path here for everybody to go for a nice nature walk i want a machete so i feel cooler imagine being with a machete in case there's a snake i don't I, know i don't want to imagine her with a machete it's a dangerous wife dangerous wife dangerous life that's how it works. Oh, look, there's one here. Oh, wow, yeah, there is. That, a, actually and amazing. they're like stone homes. Wow. Got a bunch of for, uh, snakes or something, you know? That is so cool. This is quite. That looks like a movie set, to be honest. It's very pretty. Oh, I've already gotten on my speed away. Yeah, and I'm sure they had it all cleared out so they had a nice ocean view at one point or another. And also back in the day, in the beginning, uh, this place had zero electricity and everything was um, coal lamp or uh, oil lamps, that kind of thing, and uh, candles. And everybody would just hang out in that main area there and there would be a long table and a very communal and that kind of thing. And it was always Europeans and Germans. Another ruin over here too of another one. Although that might have been the outhouse. I'm not sure. I'm getting you. And how it works here is uh, the electricity in your room start at five o'clock as that's when the generator kicks in. Uh, the main building has solar power where you can charge all your devices. Obviously the stores, the fridge, freezers, all that good stuff. And, uh, and yeah, throughout the day. And that runs off the solar panels that are on the roof. Oh, here's another one and another one. That one's a little more just, just concrete, not, not all stone like these. There's even a water pipe. Sorry, I'm like spazzing 
out a little bit because mosquitoes are already getting me. I already, I killed two mosquitoes just on me. I don't feel any, but that's typical. Oh yeah, it is definitely, these ones are like bathrooms. You can see the tiles on the walls there. So interesting. All right, we got our nice hot stone bench right now. This would be beautiful though at sunset, that's for sure. Look at the view. The view is absolutely stunning. Nice little sitting area here. Heart, heart, heart. You know I heart you. Heck yeah. Oh, there's another thing. Oh, different views, different spots. This one's a little more shaded. Oh yeah. If you sit right on the end anyway. No hearts though, sorry. For, it's the breakup. It's oh. the breakup one. Oh, that's the breakup one. Oh my gosh. When are you moving in? Oh, look at the flowers. Ooh, she sold. Oh, oh, yes, I know. Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> Anything to get me away from the forest. Have you ever asked a dragonfly if it would fit? If he'll bite me? Little cone. I'm gonna put my legs in the water. Okay, so if you guys don't trust how bad it is for me with mosquitoes, look at this. Look at my leg. Okay, got one here, killed him. Okay, he earned that. I got another one here. That's my blood, just you know, right there. And then I got another one here. We were in there for two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Preach. Preach. Unfair. It's unfair. Okay. Wow, it is a lot more than I thought. There is way, way more homes up here than I thought. They weren't kidding. This was like little Germany or something. That rope looked like a snake. Um, and you can actually go into this one. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. CR. Look at that. They have like a little spiral staircase that goes all the way up. And then a balcony up here. And then another spiral staircase that took you down. And they had proper plumbing put in and everything. Obviously you have a CR over there. So incredible. And then they just all abandoned them. Over the years, one by one, they all moved out. Lum boy. All right, we found another one. This is so interesting. It literally is a tour of the ruins. This one says Lum boy on it. I don't know if it was their nickname, but really intricate, actually. Oh, this one over here. Pathway is actually very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it is like they had a little oh, um, nice. village. Yeah, go on in. They had a little village going on in here. Living the tropical life. Wow. <laughs> Enjoy your balcony, madam. Praise Lumboy. Praise Lumboy. Huh. There's the CR. Wouldn't suggest not using it. And another balcony. You're not the kind of guest they want. I'm like the best raver in the world. The best? The best. I'm ready to go. And well, look at that. We found a water tank here. And then I guess this was like a pump house. Yeah, there's a ton of pipes. Yeah. Oh yeah, they definitely had a pump in there. So there's interesting. Now. <laughs> oh. Oh, there is a generator yeah. now. There's the well generator. Yeah, and there's pipes that go Yeah, the and it's piping it to so the resort. Kind of functional. Yeah, so this is just like the old way. 
This is so cool. Like we are actually in a jungle right now. Like look at all the bamboo. The trees are so tall. It's quite a nice vibe, except for the mosquitoes, which again, why are they here? I don't have any mosquitoes. Oh no, that tree is cool. Well, rubber, rubber tree. Rubber tree. I learned it was a rubber tree. Somebody, somebody, somebody told us. Oh, in the Arevalo Plaza, they have rubber trees. And they look like that. So knowledgeable nowadays. You got all the knowledge. But it's funky as hell. Hello, everybody. We are down at the Boardwalk, which is in Smallville in Iloilo. And we're gonna meet up with another vlogger who's from Dumaguete. And she has a mission. And the reason she's in Iloilo is for that mission. And we're gonna talk about that in just one second, just as we see her. Are you ready? All right, we found her. Here she is. This is Shay. Hello. Hello, Shay guys. from Dumaguete. What is your channel name? It's Shay Travel. 